David O, how are you? Really well, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. I think uh, I, it's been a while. I, I think I, uh, we saw each other on Selma. Oh, wow. That has been a while. It's about five, six years now. Been a bit. Um, congratulations on The Midnight Sky. What a meticulous and intricate film this is. Thank you. Yeah, much credit to George Clooney, uh, uh, the captain of our ship that is The Midnight Sky. Uh, I agree with you, and that's what I felt when I read the script. It just was, you know, I love that it's a sci-fi movie. I love that it has those fantastical kind of cinematic elements, but also the fact that the characters in it are given time to breathe and you can get to know them, identify with them. They have small obstacles and huge obstacles to overcome, which I think is what makes characters relatable. Well, I think, you know, it's all on the page, first of all. What a great script this must have been when you first got it. Yeah, yeah, it was. It really, really was. Great script, great character, great folks on it already. You know, obviously George Clooney was was uh, directing and, and starring in it, and Felicity Jones was on. Oh. Was, and I, I, you know, I, I've just admired as an actress for, for so long. And, uh, you know, to get to do a film of this scope and size that has a brain, you know what I mean? It's not just fluffy entertainment. And, uh, you know, I, I'm always looking for both magic and meaning. And, and this, is a, this is a film that had that in spades. Well, and George Clooney is one of those guys that, that brings his own magic to something. Uh, but I think you do as well. I mean, you know, you've directed a couple of things. You just got done directing um, uh, yeah, The, what the Waterman. The Waterman. And that's what a great cast you've got there. Thank you. With Thank Maria you. Bello and, and Rosario Dawson and, and yourself. Is it hard? Do you empathize when somebody's directing themselves? I empathize and I and I and I like the fact that I've met a fellow crazy person. I mean, <laughs> it, it is it is quite something to direct something you are also in. You know, you are you are spinning a lot of plates. Um, and my goodness, does George do that in an impressive way uh, on a film of this scale and size? Um, and and uh, yeah, and, and that was one of the reasons I wanted to do the film. I had literally just finished directing The Waterman, the film that I uh, was my directorial debut. And I am so fascinated by people who do that, how they do it. You know, the only other person I'd experienced doing it with Ken was Kenneth Branagh, who I worked with. Yeah. But I spoke to Nate Parker, who had done it brilliantly, Joel Edgerton and Mel Gibson. There's a handful of people who have done this uh, and done it really well. And, and he is definitely one of them, George Clooney. As we look at the movie The Midnight Sky and I think this is this is one of my favorite films of the year if not at the very top oh wow because you have that balance and I don't want to give anything away but it is this balance between what could be what is and what might be right even more so now than when we shot the film I mean you know we shot the film before the pandemic and then suddenly we are in a time where our frailty and fragility and how the unexpected can derail all of humanity is with us. Um, and that is something that is evidenced in the midnight sky. Um, and, and so, you know, it, it's sort of become this cautionary tale in a way that we couldn't have really anticipated, but it also speaks to the, the universality of the film, the fact that even though we made it before the pandemic, it still speaks even in a more resonant way now that we are in a, in a new reality. As, as we wind down our conversation, and by the way, thank you so much for your time. I'm, I'm your busy, busy guy. Oh, thanks. Uh, what do you think Midnight Sky is going to say to audiences? Well, I hope it reminds people of this theme that I think we're all going through at the moment with the pandemic is the importance of connection. You know, uh, George Clooney's character in the film is someone who is filled with regret because he sacrificed connection for ambition. Um, and you see my character and Felicity Jones's character, and we are uh, uh, two people who are afforded connection mm -hmm. in the middle of space. And we are not only afforded connection, but we are now creating life in the form of a child, which was an added thing to the script, which we wasn't even in, in the script. You know, <laughs> Felicity Jones happened to be pregnant and it sort of beautifully wove its way into, into the narrative. So, you know, I think, I think people are gonna really connect with our need uh, uh, to prioritize connection. 
thank you so much for your time and, and have a happy holiday. And again, Midnight Sky on Netflix. David, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks, Tony. Nice to see you again. This celebrity interview is sponsored by... I'm Annette Severella with Pia Anderson Moss Hoyt, Utah's leading entertainment law firm serving clients nationwide. We provide solid, attentive representation, focusing on minimizing risk, reducing cost, and protecting the reputation and privacy of our clients. Our goal is to provide you with the legal representation you need to make the right decisions and to protect you and your creative works. Call or email me for a free consultation.